there are, you were talking about the start of the universe essentially. How was the universe created? No. Like where did the Big Bang come from? No. no. Because look, we're talking about, there's the, look, there's different avenues of knowledge. One of them is intuition, fitra. We know everything that we experience, we know everything began to exist. Okay. We know that. That's from my experience. Began to exist, you're saying, how can, not, how can everything come from nothing, considering nothing is nothing? Right? Yeah. So it had to be Why is there something rather than nothing? Because we know nothing is the absence so, of something. I think yeah. So this is what I was saying. So, it's human nature. It's human nature to find answers to questions that we don't know the answers to. Them. But we. But so in my yeah. mind, religion. Yeah. Religion is a way to answer a question that we don't know the answer to. We don't understand what was before the Big Bang. If the Big Bang happened, um, whether it was like people say quantum fluctuations, whatever it was. Okay. Right? Okay. We don't understand what it was. Yeah. So some people try to look into it scientifically. So far it's not been, well, it's been somewhat successful, but we still don't know the answers. Okay. Some people just put an answer on it, they say, it was God, it was Allah, it was... No, we're not talking, no, we're not saying that. We are just establishing, look, you have to remember, Allah is name. Just forget about the name right now, just the concept. No, I understand. There, ha there has to be, look, there has to be the originator. Look, when you see this tree right here... Where did the originator come from? Where did the originator come from? Yeah. Okay, first of all, you have, before, by you saying, where did the originator come from? You already, you already believe that there is the originator. No, no, no. For the sake of the argument, yeah. In in that scenario, let's yeah. take, I'm not I'm not saying I agree with it, but let's okay. say I do agree with it. Where did the originator come? From? But that's irrational. The reason why is because you cannot have is something called infinite regress. An infinite regress of causes. Causes. Infinite regresses. It's impossible. Infinity doesn't exist. Let's give him an example. In the real world, let's it doesn't. Say for example, so there has to be there has to be somebody who has no beginning, no end. That. But why can't why can't the universe have no beginning and no end? Why can't time be a little Okay, so do you subscribe do you subscribe to the view that the universe always existed? Again, I view that as a possibility. But everything for you is uncertainty and do you know do, but this is what the Quran affirms. No, but that I don't think it's yeah. I don't think it's an intelligent thing. Okay, what are you certain about? What are you certain about? What are you certain? What things can you say for certain that this thing it is, this thing is not? Are you certain that you exist, first of all? Huh? Are, you cer are you certain, wait, wait, are you certain, are you certain that if, I, if you see somebody bashing up a child's head, yeah. is that right or wrong? That's wrong. That's wrong, do you need to justify that? Or do, is it just, exactly. So there are something called universal knowledge. Everyone knows, yeah? You don't have to justify, Every, everybody knows. Have a bio they could have a biological basis for the survival of the human race. So it makes sense that you see a baby's face getting smashed in and think. Like, yeah, no but I'm talking about universal principles that everyone knows. Bashing they're up a child's head as well. But they're not universal principles. They're only applicable to humans. So are you saying that at any point it can be justified? No, no, I'm not saying it's justifiable. I'm saying you said they're universal principles. That means they apply throughout the universe. They, That's wrong. they apply for everyone. If you ask every person here in the park. People. You're talking about people. Let's, yeah. let's take okay. Let's take a monkey, right? You see monkeys bashing in babies' brains. That happens. Yeah. Right. That means it's not a universe. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about. I'm talking not talking about, about animals. I'm talking about humans, right, like so us. That's what I said earlier. You're yeah. talking about people. You're talking about humans. Yeah. It makes sense from a biological standpoint that we would have intrinsic morals. Yeah. That would allow for the survival of the human race. So I see a human's. I see a baby's brains being bashed in. Yeah. That is not. That's morally wrong. No, that's morally wrong. But I, the reason that's morally wrong, the reason that we always think that's morally wrong, is because that's not conducive to the survival of the human race. Say thousands of years ago, right? Right. I don't, I don't know what you believe in terms of evolution, but say thousands of years ago, yes, humans are not as populated as we are now, right? Okay. You need the human race to continue, right? That's why we have kids. We're biologically wired to have kids so that the human race continues. It's not conducive for the human race to continue seeing somebody bash a baby. No, that's procreation. That's taking a life. That's procreation. I'm, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, that, that's procreation. But I'm asking you, is it wrong morally that if you see somebody bashing up a child's head, that's wrong? From your moral compass, you yes. know it's wrong. Like for example, like like exists. like for example, like for example, if you if you go to your kitchen and you want to boil uh, a kettle, right? You, you have a water inside that you want to boil. When you touch the kettle, what would be your instant reaction? Yeah. So similarly, when you see somebody bashing up a child's head, that is your natural instinct. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. So the yeah. reason I have those morals in the first place is why is due to biological reasons. No. No. 
because some morality is objective. So can it also oh, biologically? Okay, so biologically, uh, hang on. By the way, biology cannot even cannot even determine what's moral or not. Biology doesn't talk about what's moral or not. Biology only explains the mechanism. No, 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 so listen. But it doesn't talk about the morals, the values. Yeah, what's my point? So my point is, yeah. are, in my view, yeah. this could be wrong. In okay. my view, there are objective morals and okay. there are non-objective morals. Right? Okay, but is that objective moral? Yes. Okay. And you Colos. get your objective morals, not from a god, not because we were made in God's image, but because the objective moral, if you think about any objective moral, yeah, yeah. they all stem from the survival of the human race. But that's the reason why Ibn Qayyim, one of the scholars, he said that everyone does have objective morals, yeah. but we need more details about it. And that's the reason why revelation comes. Yeah? So there are things that we can all agree upon. Yeah? If you, if, you see, if you see this tree, have a look at this tree, have a look at this tree, have a look at this tree. From your natural instinct, can you say this come from nothing? A 10 year old kid, a 5 year old kid will say, no, this cannot come from nothing. No, 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 there must be coming from something. Yeah? That is, the that is the natural inclination, the fitrah, that's one of the proofs. Another proof is sound reasoning, like I told you. Yeah? If I was to tell you, you, know, you enter into a lofty palace, yeah, you enter into a lofty palace and you see, you know, have you been to a uh, rainforest adventure? Tree tops, you know, you know, indoor rainforest, yeah, you've been there. Imagine somebody enters in and say, no, this came from nothing, this came by itself. Just came into existence. It just came to existence. That goes against your experience. Yeah. You are acting in, this is also the issue I have with religion, right? Okay. It's it's not nothing straight to something big, right? It's like, with religion, you, if I, like, correct me if I'm wrong, right? Okay. But do you not operate under the assumption that humans were made by Allah? So there was nothing, we weren't involved with monkeys, none of that. We were We were created, created we were, cre Allah. yeah, we were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so, by Almighty so God. There yes, was yes. nothing but Him, and He created us, right? There is nothing but Him, and He created us. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. So, so can I ask you, what's, what, because I think there's a, there's a question that you raised or the brother raised about the universe. Right. Do you believe that the universe is eternal? Do you believe that the what's universe, it? do you believe that the universe But he's not certain. Do, you, he, you, can't, you can't even ask him this question, he's not even certain. So what are you, what are you certain about? I'm certain that I exist. Okay. And you know everything that, sorry, everything that we experience in the universe, you know there's a beginning. This grass here has a beginning. This tree has a beginning. Our own existence has a beginning. By the way, there's a powerful verse in the Quran for us to think about. I'm not, just because I'm quoting from the Quran, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm saying this is the proof the Quran is the word of God. No, no, no. But I'm using arguments from the Quran to substantiate the existence of God. The Quran mentioned in chapter 76, verse 1. This is a powerful verse. Can you recite in Arabic and then I'll translate it? You know, uh, Powerful. I'll translate it. It says, Has there not been a period of time when human beings were not even worthy to be mentioned of? And we created him from a mingled fluid. And then we gave him senses of hearing and sight. Imagine, think about your own existence. You didn't exist 100 years ago. We were nothing. We were just a fluid. A fluid that, that we even, you know, dismiss. There's no value to it. But this insignificant fluid, look at you right now. Proportionate, built. This cannot come from nothing. This cannot come from blind matter. You have intelligence. So this is sorry. This was what I was going to say earlier, right? Yeah. About we were just created by Allah. So I think it's a gradual process. It's not nothing straight into something. Nothing turns into something small. It turns into something bigger and bigger and bigger. That's how evolution works. So I forget about evolution. Evolution. Ev sorry, sorry to interject you. Evolution. No, no. Evolution. Evolution. It, it doesn't explain. Doesn't really disprove the existence of God. And I tell you why. It doesn't disprove it, the existence of God. Okay. But because it yeah. Does but you have to, you have to, you but have you to. Use it to argue against the idea. No, but you have to address the origin. Before, look, look, look. Evolution, evolution is a transformation of one state to another. But you have to address the origin of the first matter. Where did it come from? That is what we're discussing right, so about. We're not discussing about evolution. So first, the first life form, right? So, but in your eyes, the first life, the first life form. Can you, can you, can you, can you, look, 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 first, look, think about this. Can nothing bring into existence? Can nothing bring into something? Can you get life from nothing? So that's a question that people have. Come on, let, let's use that sound reasoning. Come on, no, 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 if you no, ask, no, ask okay, a 10 year old kid and they'll tell you, no, it's impossible. Okay, so it's you irrational. Can't make, you can't make something from nothing. You can't make something. Fantastic. Okay. Now, that something. 
can that's something that we're talking about does it have consciousness self-awareness to bring the universe into, into existence it, it has be, to it must, be alive. must be yeah it must have possessed knowledge it must possess knowledge it must possess power okay first of all we can all agree that nothing cannot bring you to something correct okay brilliant so that means there has to be something something that something what is the characteristics of that something what are the attributes that attribute of something to bring the universe into existence must have no, self, no, no, self aware. No, 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 sorry. Uh, no. Okay, so I thought you meant can something come from nothing? No, you're saying that's the creator of that something. No, we've already agreed that. We've... No, no, but you're operating under the, under the assumption that there is a creator. No, I'm not. I'm saying, logically, rationally speaking, can. Okay, for example, can a rock create something? No. Why? It's still something. The rock is still something, correct? Okay, but why would you, why, why would any person no, with no, their rock, rational mind? Rock cannot create something. Why? Does a rock have any sentient. attributes? Does the rock? No, the, 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 no, 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 not that. The rock does still have attributes, right? No. It's solid. It's it's granite, right? All of that. But I'm asking you, why can't the rock create something? The rock is not sentient. So, what do you mean by sentient? Sentient. It's not. It's not conscious. It doesn't have the ability. Okay, brilliant. So it's not conscious. What's what's another reason? Doesn't have knowledge, doesn't have knowledge, doesn't have power, doesn't have the ability. Okay, now apply this to the universe. Yes, but it's, it's not, again, you're operating under the assumption that there is a creator. No, I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. I'm, you're you're saying, you I'm talking know, about the concept. Something. The concept, it's not that we were created by something, it's that through randomness. So are you saying it created itself? Created. Yes. Okay, so, okay, fine, fine. Yes, yes, so yes, you're, 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 okay, uh, created itself. Yes. So did you create yourself? I didn't create myself. I, I occurred through certain processes. No, 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 no. See, now you're using an external process for your existence. But I'm no, asking but you, did you create yourself? I'm a human. I'm no, but a you're, you have intelligence. But you have intelligence, correct? Right. right. So why didn't you create yourself? Is it possible? No, of course not possible. Thank you. So you have to explain to me the origin. That's what we are the trying to address. Yes. So humans occur when a sperm and an egg meet, right? And then that eventually develops into a fetus and then a human comes out. Right. 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 So who gave you life? My mother and my father. Okay. So if your mother and father gave you life, how come when you die they can't give you life back? See, no, I was in this debate and I don't no, understand no, this point. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Let's understand. If we were to create a phone from scratch... Because, because, it's, wait, a, because let, it's a random process. I was not... They cannot summon the same sperm cell and the same egg cell and then have them meet each other and make me again. That's impossible. Okay. I, am, I was... There was trillions of sperm cells. Right. And there was an egg cell and I just happened to be yeah. one of those trillions of sperm cells. Randomness doesn't exist in the real world. Randomness, randomness, you, the reason why we say something is random because we don't know the outcome. We lack knowledge. But that doesn't mean that, you know, okay, things is spontaneous. Random, it's, like, it's, okay, it's for example, for example, for, for, exam for example, if I drop this, this cup, yes. will it ever become a frog? No. Why not? Well, no, okay, that cup won't become a frog. No, that should be randomness. Why not? Why, why, can't it, why, why is there no chance of becoming a frog? Because everything, because... Because everything, the universe, there's something called laws of physics. There's a law that's following. There's a nature. There's an order. There's a programming. Yeah? Randomness is just our perception, but it's not the reality. Do you understand what I mean? So I'm asking you the question, look at your heart. Why isn't your heart stopping? Who is controlling? If you allow me to call the human beings as machine, we're more complex than the machine. And you know that the machine, the robots, it requires intelligence. Somebody has to create this robot. Somebody has to encode, program, information. So as complex as so we're talking about human beings that's far more complex. Why? Because we appeal to emotion and rationality. Yeah? Robots don't have any feelings. They're only going by program according to the creator, the manufacturer. What about us human beings? How can we have the free will to do what, to do whatever we want? How come? Do you understand what I mean? Why? Why? Because it goes against your natural inclination to say, I come from nothing, I created itself. No. The, 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 the only I rational I explanation. Myself or I came from nothing. I did not come from nothing. And I did give me anything. All right, give me one example you can give me in the universe where something created itself. Good question. 